Welcome back to Mass Effect 2, ladies and lords. Thane would like to speak with you, Commander. Damn, dude. Okay, let me go talk to Thane. Last time, I don't want to say it, but my fucking fish died. I'll never forgive Tuchanka for wasting my time. Time I'll never have back. I'll never be able to feed them again. We're moving on. Shepard. Yeah, what's up, man? Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Okay, we gotta go How find your son. You talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. Another thing he did that when he was younger. That all of these uh my squad missions have in common is they're all about close family or like the idea of family or the concept of family i only say that because grunt his is less about family and more about finding his place and now he has a new family quote unquote Wow. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, no, His job was more important. Yeah, all of these no, missions are about no, like no final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. Um you never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. Wow. How long ago was that? I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. <laughs> I, didn't want that life I can't life. raise life. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. Okay. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as Dude, a Dude, I understand about stop. half of what you're saying to me. This is not a path he should walk. Be completely yeah, honest. <laughs> I'm like I'm, I'm trying to follow, but I don't know why he would accept Ooh. the task. To be closer to you, maybe. That thought haunts me more than any other. Ooh, Thank he's trying to be more like his dad. Your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need. Wait, so does he? He knows he's a hitman. The last time I saw my son, they grabbed your body. He knows his dad is a. Waited it with stones. An assassin. Tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The Hanar lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. Oh, did I ask the Citadel? I feel like I didn't. didn't. go to the Citadel. 
Years ago, I prepared a package for him. Oh, okay. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Okay. So, we gotta go stop his son from, from killing folks. Uh, I think, like, everyone that I've done missions for, they're, like, done. They're done talking. Commander. Right. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, yeah. Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll and when they're worry. done, they're done. Of course, Commander. They have, like, they're rude as hell. They're just like, shut the fuck up, Commander. I have nothing to say to you, okay? All right. So, what did I say I was going to do on this episode? I think I was going to go help Jacob. So let's do that. Let's go help Jacob. Mr. Horse Teeth over there. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you, Kelly. We've a, we've detected an anomaly. Probe away. I have found something. What did you find? Mercenary activity detected on the planet's surface. Communications match blue suns encoding protocols. Possible location for rumored site of illegal archaeological activity. Blue Sun's intentions unknown. What? I actually have no idea what this mission is. I was just trying to get minerals, man. He saw us! We've been seen! Look at him. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. Alright, who's getting it first? Let's get my assault rifle out. There we go. Mm -hmm. Sidestep those bullets all together. How about that? Shields have failed. Get those shields back on. Sit down, sir. Any more? Ooh, element zero. I'll take it. What? A loading screen? I thought it was just a door. I thought it was just a door. Personal locker? I just shot that into nothing. Okay. Thought I was harmless, did you? Tell him. The locust is so much better than the uh the assault rifle. My shield. Sit down, bitches. Oh my goodness, my aim. You're getting punched. I don't have time to deal with you. Alright, I'm getting my pistol out now. It's headshot time. It's headshot time. Can I do it? Did I go through the glass? Dude. Shepard is kind of a boss right now. So many personal lockers. Damn, they had them sleeping in here in the rocks. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> they didn't even build any kind of facility. Outgoing message. Request for aid. Hope you're doing well. We require your services once again in the transport of ourselves, our equipment, and our recovered artifacts. I dispatched our representative to meet with you regarding the details of the transaction. Given the sensitive nature of our cargo, we expect discretion on this matter. Dr. Farron, Chief Researcher in Exogeny Special Projects. Wow, and then the incoming for Dr. Farron. Of course you can count on us to escort... Of course you can count on us to offer you escort and transportation. We have sent men and ships your way in good faith. Commander Vito Santiago of the Blue Suns. You guys remember who Vito was? I, I didn't kill Vito. Is that why we're here? Is Vito here? He was the, uh, the guy that Zaid started the Blue Suns with. His old buddy. Nah, you're not coming over here, dog. Oh, maybe you are. Maybe you are. Get tossed. Is he still alive? Bro! What? Excuse me. When I kill you, you die. Okay? Damn, I got that man stuck. This man is not ready. He's climbing on boxes and shit. Acting all kinds of silly. Okay, so they were gonna rendezvous with another team. For what? Wait, so am I supposed to go there? Am I supposed to go to there? Is this giving me more missions? <gasps> Prothean artifact. Any other goodies in here? Hold up. Let me read this one more time. In the nebula, Omega Nebula, the MSV Strontium. Okay, we'll go there. Nebula. We shall go there. Oh, it's not gonna hit me. With oh, it is hitting me with the. They're hitting me with the old stuff, man. Recovered Prothean Relic. Eliminated Blue Sun's presence at the dig site. Alright. So I know I said I was going to go help Jacob, but since I've stumbled upon this side quest, I might as well complete it, you know what I mean? This, this mission has actually given me a lot of Mass Effect 1 vibes. But you can definitely tell it's a side mission. There's n almost no uh, dialogue. Like, in, no one's talking at all. Samara. Ooh, this is going to be beautiful. Oh, <laughs> that was so much damage. Everyone's dead. Look at this. You guys run into some fucking real shit. Can't reach the target. Shepard, what are you talking about? The target was floating right in front of your face. What were these people doing here? Being assholes. Airlocks are sealed. Okay. 
I don't think anyone else is here. I'm mad that Zaid isn't saying anything. You know what I think it is? Since he's a DLC character, maybe he's not meant to <laughs> have dialogue since this is a side mission. There must be a way in. We did it. it. Yeah, we did. So which door first? Let's go right to left. What are you guys looking at? Enemies! Can't get a lock! Tomorrow, how are you gonna pull the dude I'm already pulling? Time to die! Yeah, sure is. Idiots. I wonder what happened here. Oh my. That is rough. Dude, that's gruesome. What did they burn them? Holy shit, man. Blue Suns are not playing. Hey, Zaid, where you at, dog? Security lockdown in effect. Seek security console to override. Right. I'm getting sick of you threatening me, man. Communications <laughs> relay inoperative. Okay. There must be a way in. Let's bypass. We've done it. <laughs> I need cover. Yeah, you do. Let's go, babies. I need my pistol for sure. Go ahead, poke your head up. Ooh. Yeah, get in there, guys. Let me get my locust. Zaid. I'll take cover there. Get in there, man. Got it. Right, Can't I'm get going in. If Zaid's not going in, I'm going in. I got you, Samara. Alright. Let's get his shield down. Get grabbed. I was Oh, thank you, Zaid. Thank you. Oh. Is there there's stuff in here though, no? Hold up. This is the final entry for Captain Jarrett Barnes, skipper of the MSV Strontium Mule. If you're reading this, I and my crew are dead. Two weeks ago, we answered a distress signal. It turned out to be the Blue Sun's trap. We managed to escape, but sustained heavy damage. Do not approach the coordinates in this log. What? How are you gonna... What? Oh, he never got to send it out. I was like, how are you gonna type it up? By the time anybody sees it, they're already here. <laughs> If you find the canister in our cargo hold, you are welcome to its contents. Cool. The authorization codes are encrypted in this log. Authoriz authorization code decryption complete. Cool. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
light this man up. There we go. Alright, Samara. I need you here. Let me get my pistol out. where I am right now, right? I got the thing. Let's get out of here. Beep boop beep boop boop. Whoa, glowy. What is it? Is it a pet? Is it a fish? Is it a beautiful golden fish? Cause that'd be nice. Dude, so this mission goes on? All right. This is going to be a pretty long episode then. Got to go to the planet Sanctum. In the Decorus system. Stop the blue sun's attack. Alright. Yeah, we're here, bitches. We're here to put you down. Why do they keep running away every time? They're not calling it in or anything. You guys don't have cell phones? <laughs> like literally just running, running back to the captain. Headshots? Where are my headshots? Oh, my aim is so horrible right now. Can I climb up there? There we go. Yo, that man is stuck to the ceiling. He's stuck in the door. Can't reach the target. You did that to you. You did that to yourself, man. Coming through doors on me. Oh, I didn't even check the outside for goodies. Due to concerns over employee safety, the Broadfield mining facility has been closed until further notice. I did not know that this was gonna be a three-part side mission. This mission is longer than most of the main missions in the game, dude. Alright, guys, get down. Want some more? Callie, what are you doing down there, man? Oh my god, this girl. Oh. Get my shotgun out, because I'm about to go down there, baby. Oh. We did it. We did it. Due to Phillips' brilliant expansion of the northern mining tunnels into the mess hall last week, our small facility will be closing indefinitely. All teams will be transferred to the nearest starbase shortly. Okay. Alright. Oh, whoa, whoa. Sir. Weapons ready. Whoa, it grabbed all of them? Wow. Good shit, guys. Whoever you are, you won't make it out of here alive. All right, dog. You can believe that. Oh, you got a mech? Ooh. Oh, you have two, three mechs? See, now that might be an issue. Ooh, I was about to 
plop myself down right in front of that, uh, <laughs> exploding. Yeah, buddy. Tomorrow, move. Go over there. Where's the other one? Alright, bitch. Get pulled. That's right. Let me get the locust out. I got you guys. Hey, hey. You big bitch. Any more? You got any more? To the right. To the right. Oh, they're coming from both directions? Flanking us? Really? Fuck you. They should soften them up. Ooh, explodey. Wait, what did she just do? I just did my charge and she went nowhere. There wasn't even a sound effect. Cool. What's this over here? Can we take this? That thing looks cool. Look at this thing. And this reminds me of uh, Kotar a little bit. Whatever it is you're doing the, uh, the races in. Whatever that vehicle is called. Jet boosters. They're over here messing around with these artifacts, man. You gotta be careful, that shit almost blew my brain. Bypassing all the doors. Let me in. Over overload. Hold up anything else? Nope, I guess we're overloading the system. Bleep 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 bleep. Oh. <laughs> no talking at all. We've done it. It's like the fourth time she said, we've done it in this mission. All right, guys, that's, that's going to do it for this episode. I don't, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I want all of this to be one episode, but I don't want this episode to be like an hour long. So <sighs> I'm going to cut some shit out. I'm going to have to do some super editing. But anyway, Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. You guys know where to find me. I'll be here doing this. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye.